Hello and welcome to Kirby SQL Talk. Today we're going to talk about a new super cool feature called dynamic data masking that's part of SQL Server 2016, both on-premise uh, as well as Azure versions of SQL Server. So what does this allow you to do? Well, without actually changing the data, you're able to mask it. And you can do that in a production environment uh, to hide certain data from certain users or groups of users. You could also do it, let's say you're taking a copy of your production environment and restoring it in a development, user acceptance, testing, QA environment. And instead of running really long running, cumbersome data manipulation scripts to update all that data, to change it, you just apply these dynamic data masking scripts so that you can hide that data from the users. Well, let's, let's take a look at it instead of talking about it too much. So first of all, I'm going to bring up uh, a sample application here that shows name, address, email, some different uh, um, details about contacts. So how do we change that? Really straightforward. We're going to jump into SQL Server Management Studio. And um, we'll just select star, just, just similar to what we saw earlier. Now we're going to do the actual, actual altering of the table. So it's an alter statement like this, alter table contacts, and alter the column and add a masked, masked function. And this is a default function and uh, default uh, uh, changes depending on the data type. Um, we're going to also add one for the address. And this is, as you can see, it's partial two and then a mask and then a one. What that does, and you'll see in a second, um, it leaves the first two characters and the last one exposed and everything in between puts X's. Then finally, we'll do uh, another function for email. And let's see what that looks like if we go out to the database uh, here, uh, the application and do a refresh. You can see that now our name has been completely X'd out. That was that default function. The address, like I said, it's left the first two and the last character exposed and put X's in the middle. And then for email, it um, does a default mask where it leaves the domain on the end and the first character of the, of the email exposed. So really straightforward to do this. And um, let's say you wanted to see what was masked you can run this uh, statement uh, against the mask columns table. And this is going to show you what you've applied your masks to, just in case you wanted to double check and kind of verify that your um, refresh scripts uh, uh, had completed correctly and that you had masked what you thought you wanted to mask. And if you want to drop them, that's as easy as adding them. You just hit F5 on these. Let's go back out here hit F5 and you can see everything has been restored. So super quick, super easy. I love this feature of SQL Server 2016 and I'm, I'm pretty darn sure you can put this to use right away. Thanks for watching.